sat in the beer, of course, and paid for it. And he was just amazed that I, you know, that I was able to buy it and drink. And this happened in this bar. This is our time for a long time. Yes, a long time. My Lucia was pregnant with her seventh child, and her husband died of a heart attack. And she married a wonderful man that I knew, and he built the house on Waldo and Freer, and they joined Our Lady Queen of Angels. And they had a candy store in the basement on Waldo and Freer, across the street from Carmachips. And, uh, and then in 19... 58, I graduated from high school, and I always wanted to go in the convent. But I already met my husband, and I had mixed emotions. <laughs> so the priest called me to the rectory and said, I understand you're not going to the convent. And I says, that's right. And they says, well, we want to open up a kindergarten at St. Andrew, and we want you to be the school teacher. And I graduated in June of 58, and that September, I started teaching at St. Andrew, and they could do that now, but they said if you go to night school, which I did to U of D, uh, you could be a teacher, and in my class was Father Gary, so I was his kindergarten teacher, Gary the <laughs> so he always calls me Miss Lorraine to this day, he always calls me Miss Lorraine. Uh, my dad wanted to put in for France, but instead we wound up coming to the United States and to Texas. So we were in Texas for about six years and came to th this area in 1954, and we lived on Otis, which uh, that block was a wonderful block because then we had good Polish retail all around. Polanski Bakery was across the street. Uh, and there were many a bar on the corner, as a lot of the older neighborhoods <laughs> had. But we had Leo, uh, Leo uh, Zions was one grocery store on one corner of our block. The other block had Ed Chopsky, so we had two grocery stores we could go to. And uh, there was a uh, cleaners on one corner, but a lot of my memories had to do with Polanski's because the ladies in the neighborhood worked there, and when they were done with their shift, they would be bringing boxes of donuts home with them, and we kids would be playing cards in the evening or a ball, whatever, on the front porches, and they would share some of the donuts with us. <laughs> so, and so basically, I lived in that area for a long time.